from the creation. The world is there. Somebody must have created it. Whoever created it, that creator is God. But do you see the implication? If world is created, then there can be no evolution. Evolution means creation continues. Think of the Christian story. God created the world in six days. And then on the seventh day, he rested. Since then, he has been resting. And the whole creation was completed in six days. Now, from where evolution can have a possibility? Creation means first the full point has arrived on the sixth day. The full point, and after that, there is no possibility of evolution. Evolution implies that creation is not complete. Hence, the possibility of evolving. But God cannot create an incomplete world. That will be going against God's nature. He is perfect, and whatsoever He does is perfect. Neither He is evolving, nor the world is evolving. Everything will be at a standstill. This is the reason why popes were against Charles Darwin. Because that man was bringing an idea which is going to kill God's moral matters. Those popes were perceptive in a way. They could see the far away implications of the idea of evolution. Ordinarily, we will not be connecting both creation and evolution. What connection is there? God and Charles Darwin, there is connection. Charles Darwin is saying that the creation 